Hi folks, so in the first part of the lab, we looked at the two most important uh, rocks on our planet. First we looked at granite here, and now granite, this is an example right here. Here's another one, right? These are both examples of granite. They're the lighter colored rock, and as we found out in the first part, they are less dense than the other rock, basalt, which we'll talk about in a second here. Um, and uh, the important thing about granite is it makes up our continents, right? Less dense and makes up our continents. The other rock we talked about, the southernmost important rock in the world is this, basalt, right? This kind of dark brown to black. This is uh, what makes up our oceanic crust, right? So this makes up our ocean basins. And the reason for that, as we found out in the first part, it is just a little bit denser. So when we talked granite, we were talking about 2.65 grams per cubic centimeter. Basalt, on the other hand, this darker rock is 3.0 grams per cubic centimeter. And that's because the minerals that make it up contain a lot more iron and magnesium. And those are very dense, heavy elements. All right. In the second part of the lab, what we're going to be doing is... Uh, investigating this a little bit farther and to see how this plays into our earth right so granite makes up our continents it's lighter it's less dense right basalt denser heavier makes up our ocean basins uh we're now going to model this with basically just a, a bucket of water here in a couple blocks of uh of wood and these first two blocks here these are both blocks of pine pine is a soft wood it's fairly light and and fairly uh, uh, low density this stuff has a density of about 0.6 grams per cubic centimeter and then this one here this is an oak block this is a hardwood it's quite a bit denser than the pine this is 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter the water which will be floating them in here is 1.0 gram per cubic centimeter that is the definition of water at standard temperature and pressure right so things that are denser right rocks like granite 2.65 grams per cubic centimeter obviously they're going to sink right things that are less dense will density less than 1.0 gram per cubic centimeter they're going to float right but depending on their density that's going to determine kind of how high or low they float in the water right so in this experiment we're going to explore not only how uh density uh, affects uh, uh the plates of our earth our tectonic plates but we'll also explore how thickness affects them right so in this first experiment we're still looking pretty much just at density right we got to take uh these blocks of equal thickness, these little one bys, right? Uh, one of pine and one of oak, right? And in this setup, we're gonna float these in here and take a look at how they float uh, relative to each other and relative to the surface of the water. So here we have our pine block, right? And again, our pine block is about 0.6 grams per cubic centimeter so we know it's going to float let's take a look here and it's floating a little bit sideways but as you can see about half above about half below the water surface now let's take a look at this oak block now remember this oak block is denser about 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter all right as we can see compared to this pine block all right it's sitting a lot lower in the water, even though these things are the same thickness, right? So this oak block, which is denser, is sitting lower in the water. And this is due to relative uh, density. Basically, how dense is this relative to the surface that it's in or the substance that it's in? So our oak block here, about 0.9 uh, grams per cubic centimeter, is about 90% below the water, about 10% above. And that, you know, so these things being thick, in about the same thickness here um, uh, being about the same thickness here uh, this pine is obviously sitting a lot higher because it's less dense right so proportionally the oak is sitting a lot lower right but then the other question in the lab is elevation and elevation is the height above 
the surface of the water, right? So the height above the water. So we can see because the pine sits higher because it's proportionally, it's, you know, relative density is, is less. So it sits higher, but it also now has a higher elevation, right? You should now be able to use these two to kind of uh, answer the rest of the questions well, for this part. All right. For this second part of the experiment, now we're going to look at how it, uh, the thickness uh, of these blocks does to both proportion and elevation, right? So not only are our continents less dense, they're made of that granite, 2.65 grams per cubic centimeter, but they are also much thicker than our oceanic crust, right? So we also have to take that into consideration. So now with this experiment, we're going to take the thin pine block and the thick pine block and float those. Remember, these both have a density of about the same. They should be about, you know, 0.6 grams per cubic centimeter. And we've already floated this guy and he'll just sit in there like he did before. But now when we put this, this other one in here, right? Pine block as well, right? Let's take a look first at kind of their relative density. Compared to the water, they have basically the same relative density. And what we should be seeing here is more or less, they're floating proportionally about the same, roughly half above, half below, right? But now let's take a look at what this does to elevation. Obviously, since this is a much thicker block, just because it sits at the same, you know, kind of relative proportion above and below, it's gonna have a higher elevation. But also note, it has deeper roots, right? Higher elevation equals deeper roots because we have to maintain that neutral buoyancy there, right? So um, this is the second part of the experiment. Right? And then we'll, after this, we'll move on to the last part, which really simulates uh, kind of our plate tectonic scenario. All right, folks, for this last part of the experiment, uh, we're going to basically now simulate uh, roughly what we have on our planet Earth here, right? So now we have our denser, thinner oak block representing our denser, thinner oceanic lithosphere, oceanic crust. And then we have our thicker pine block. It's less dense. This represents our less dense, thicker continental lithosphere, right? Now, what are we floating this in? What does this represent in our Earth? So the water here is uh, analogous to our asthenosphere. Remember, our asthenosphere is that uh, partially molten. It's not liquid like this water, but it does act as a buoyant surface on which the lithospheric plates float. So let's take a look here. Let's put our continental plate in, right? Less dense and thicker. And then here's our oceanic plate, denser and thinner. Now we see a scenario like we have in our Earth, right? Except being in water, they're floating in the asthenosphere, right? So our denser, thinner oceanic lithosphere sits much lower, right? Our continents, they're thicker. They're also less dense, right? They sit higher, but that means also they're going to have deeper roots, right? So when you have places like mountains that are exceptionally thick, we have an exceptionally deep part of our, our continental lithosphere there as well. But this is pretty much analogous to what we see in our Earth, and this is why water collects in these low spots, right, in between uh, uh, the continents in our ocean basins. Water goes to the low spot, right, moves into those low spots, right? So these are the two most important rocks on our Earth because this difference in density, this small little difference in density, uh, really makes all the difference in the world as far as where the oceans are and where our continents are, right? Now, another thing I want to just do here, what happens, you say, now we have these tectonic plates moving around, right, and interacting with each other. What happens if I push these two together, right? What do you think will happen? Well, in our real world, the edges are a little rounder, what happens is this denser, thinner plate ends up going underneath the continent when they meet. This is a process called subduction, and it's how we recycle old lithosphere uh, on our planet. All right. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed. Finish up the lab.